I used a thin brush with a brown eyeshadow, two shades lighter than my eyebrow color, to give it a little more shape. I used the white eyeshadow under my eyebrows to help with the definition and bring the eyes out a little more. I'm using silver in the inner corner of my eye, then putting a darker brown on the outer corner coming into my crease. To blend both in, I use the gold tone right through the center. For the cat eye, I use my Palladio liquid eyeliner and on the waterline, my MAC black eyeliner. I then touched up the white in the inner corner of my eyes and on the eyebrows. And lastly, I used my flamed out CoverGirl mascara. So today I'm going to be using my favorite primer of all times and it's from MAC. My foundation is also from MAC and it's in the shade NC30. I like to apply my foundation in little dots around my face so it helps out to spread out and make it even all around. The brushes I use to blend are Beauty Evolved and brushes from Elizabeth Arden. Now I'm using my MAC concealer under my eyes in a triangular shape to bring light and light in my dark circles also to all the areas I feel need to be highlighted and hidden. To contour my face and give it a little bit more definition, I used the MAC powder that is two shades darker than my skin tone. I applied it to my jawline, under and on the sides of my nose, also in the sides of my forehead, and in the lower cheek. Now I'm using my MAC powder that is two shades lighter than my skin tone, and I'm applying it under my eye, in the center of my nose, and tearing the forehead a little bit off. To finish off the look, I'm using my MAC blush in the shade Harmony. I like the peach brown colors better. I feel they give you a more natural look. For the lipstick, I'm using Elizabeth Arden in the shade Breathless 31. It is a light brown color with a touch of pink. And this is the finished look. Simple, neutral and chic.